UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. One of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to him. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 161 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. This arena, it is of course Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thump Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and even start to think about striking. 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. It's a great punch landing with so much power. Beautiful body kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. And that one certainly found the target. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Superman punch. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, a single collar tie there. Oh, a huge block there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. to home for that knee. Spinning back fist. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Nice punch to the head. Oh, he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right on the button. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Plus right hand is true. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big head kick win. Single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that Whoa! kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful leg kick throw. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Straight punch land. Oh, nice, nice. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. We thought the kicks would be a key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Round two is underway. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Right hand punch from the clean. And he lands it. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw him. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh! Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, collar tie. Left hand ball. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, here goes. And a knee. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, went for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Just over three minutes now to go. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big, he lands to the body. Boy, Ty Plump. And he landed the right hand there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. How good is that right hand? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attempt. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right hand punch to the clinch. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, big punch lands. And they said, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Able to work the body. My right, round three coming up next. Just like you 
right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Oh, bleeding from his cheeks now. Damage done. Huge knee lands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on this. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. He blocks the punch. Nice strike. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. and he went to it effectively there. It is his money. Oh! He's broke. He's hurt bad. Now they're both throwing with power. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, blocks that kick to the body. Nice to go. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. An attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight and did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to finally finish.